Today let's take up oversubscription of shares and in this I take up the pro rata allotment today. Uh, oversubscription of shares means when the applied shares are more than the issued shares. So first of all let's take a case let's say shares uh, 20,000 shares were issued the face value of the share is rupees 10 right payable as rupees 3 on application rupees uh, Four on allotment and rupees three on first and final call. Right now, uh, applications were received for uh, let's say twenty five thousand shares. The directors of the company decide to allot 20,000 shares on pro rata basis. Right? Okay, now let's look at this. 20,000 shares were issued. The face value of the share is 10. Payable rupees 3 on application. So, first of all, the application money received is how much? This is your first entry, bank account debit to share application account, right? That is 25,000 applications were received, okay? So, 25,000 into 3, that will be 75,000, okay? 75,000 here. Okay. Now, out of this, only 20,000 shares can be issued. So, first of all, I'll do this. Share application account debit to share capital account. How much can be transferred to the share capital account? 20,000 into 3, only 60,000 rupees. So that means we have an excess of 15,000 rupees with us, right? And this 15,000, since we are saying that uh, the directors decide to allot 20,000 shares on pro rata basis, so whatever is the excess amount, that excess amount will be adjusted towards allotment. Now here, application money received is equal to 75,000, right? Uh, transferred to shared capital, that is 60,000. Now, what is the remaining amount? Remaining amount is 15,000 rupees. This 15,000 will be utilized for share allotment of these shareholders, right? Okay. So now what we will do is share application account debit to share allotment. We will write. We can put these two entries, the second and third, as a combined entry also. So here we'll write fifteen thousand and fifteen thousand like this, right? The combined entry, if you want to put a combined entry, in that case, these two, this can be written as a combined entry. It can be written like this. Shared application account debit 75,000. Two shared capital. This will be uh, 60,000. And two shared allotment. This will be 15,000. 
so that means 15000 rupees is there with us there with the company right and now the when the um, allotment money becomes due the entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital account okay so this is how much this is 20000 into 4 This is twenty thousand into four, which is eighty thousand rupees. The allotment installment is four rupees, right? Now, out of this eighty thousand, we already have fifteen thousand with us, right? So, when we receive the money, it will be fifteen thousand less, right? Because those shareholders they have already paid fifteen thousand rupees. Now they will not pay excess. right so here it will be bank account debit to share allotment account this will be the amount which is due that is 80000 minus the excess amount that we already have 15000 this 15000 was transferred to share allotment right okay so 80000 minus 65000 minus uh, 15000 is 65000 this is the money which will be received on allotment fine the whole of the excess 15000 is utilized for share allotment now there is nothing left right now there is no excess amount now we come to the share first and final call account this is uh, to share capital this will be a normal entry here to share capital account this is uh, 20000 into 3 again that will be 60000 now in this case no adjustments so the whole amount will be received right so here we will write bank account debit to share first and final call account the whole amount of 60000 will be received right so this is a case of pro rata allotment in which the excess amount that has been received that is being adjusted towards allotment right now there can be cases in which you may have excess money even after adjusting the allotment in that case that is carried on to the first and final first call right okay hmm? so if the directors decide to allot on pro rata basis this adjustment has to be done whatever is the excess will be transferred to the next call that is share allotment normally most of the times the amount is utilized in share allotment if it is not utilized in share allotment then it is carried forward to the first call even after that you have something remaining then it goes to the second call like that right okay hmm? so this was a small example for uh, pro rata allotment we can have more complicated cases in pro rata allotment that i'll take up later and uh, there can be a case where uh, there is a combination of uh, both rejection of shares and pro rata right so in that case the directors will decide to reject a certain number of shares so wherever whatever number of shares are rejected for that the money will be refunded and for the remaining shares pro rata allotment will be applied okay so in our next session we will take up examples uh, which will cover both the cases and then we'll do some uh, questions on other topics like four feature of shares so with that i'll end today's session on this pro rata allotment